Mostly cloudy conditions here in Springfield. Warm temperatures in the 60s. 66 right now in Springfield. Dew points in the 60s. Feeling very sticky, very humid this morning. We do have a couple of showers, so make sure you grab your rain jacket and your umbrella as you're heading out the door this morning. And looking at mostly cloudy conditions everywhere else. Now we've got a flash flood watch in effect until 7 a.m. tomorrow because we still got scattered showers and thunderstorm chances through the day today. 66 right now as you're heading out the door. 66 in Branson, 67 in Harrison, and 64 up. In Rolla. Through the rest of today, we've got scattered showers and storms really widespread across the area. Temperatures in the upper 70s and lower 80s. We're going to keep those shower chances through the overnight hours and we're going to keep them again widespread showers, showers and thunderstorms through the day tomorrow. Which is also why that flash flood watch is in effect because several of these storms have the capability to produce several inches of rain. If you were waking up sneezing this morning, that's because grass is pretty moderate and mold is very high. If you want to mow your lawn, we've had several inches of rain over the last several weeks. I don't think you're going to have the chance until maybe on Sunday, which does look a little bit drier. Here's a look at your seven day Friday, showers and thunderstorms. Saturday, chance of storms. Sunday, chance of storms. Good news is by the beginning of next week, we finally get some sunshine and start to dry out. Here's what's making news now for you. The Springfield Area Chamber of Commerce is hosting the Good Morning Springfield event today as a networking breakfast will be served at Evangel at 7.30. That's where Hannah Zettel is right now with a preview of what to expect from the mayor. Hannah, good morning. Good morning, Joe, and good morning, Springfield. That's the event we're covering here this morning, starting in about 30 minutes. The breakfast is being set up right now, and Mayor McClure is rehearsing his State of the City address that he's going to be delivering at about 8 a.m. today. Some things that he's going to cover, he's going to start by honoring veterans here. He's going to talk about the anniversary of D-Day. Then he's going to move into the State of the City, which includes some of the accomplishments that we've seen this year with local schools, the university. Universities. He's going to acknowledge some of the struggles that the city's had and how to kind of address those. And then a new uh, kind of an initiative or a new focus that the mayor has is the quality of place. And I caught up with him yesterday to learn a little bit more about what that is. It's a place that we want to live as Springfield. It's a place that we want to keep students as they graduate. It's a place that we want to attract people that visit here, say this is a good place not only to visit, but to live. And it ties in with our challenges that we have, for example, on uh, a skills gap. To addressing the specific needs. Now, if you're not able to make it to the networking breakfast this morning to hear the state of the city, you can go ahead and tune in and stream that on the city's website, and we will have a little bit more information later in the day once that has happened. Reporting in Springfield, Hannah Zettel, Ozarks First. The city of Springfield could soon raise the age to purchase tobacco products. The Springfield Green County Health Department is pushing to raise it from 18 to 21. The health department believes increasing the legal age to buy tobacco. Tobacco will lift lessen the number of youth smokers. Clay Goddard of the Health Department says the ordinance also includes items like e cigarettes. There's a perception that e cigarettes are safe. 63% um, of Juul users, which is a popular brand, didn't even realize there was nicotine in uh, that device. So I think e cigarettes is an issue that, that we're uh, thinking about, and those would be covered by this ordinance as well. The city council is set to hear the ordinance on June 17th. They'll vote two weeks later, and if passed, the ordinance will be implemented 60 days after that initial vote. Moving on to put crime into focus for you, police have found a man wanted in a shooting that happened yesterday in Northeast Springfield. A 32-year-old was arrested in Webster County. We're still not releasing his name because those charges are not officially filed yet, but officers were called to a home in the 1700 block of North Oak around... 11 yesterday, they were looking for a man who shot a woman nearby. After several hours, officers eventually used an armored truck to push open that door, but no one was inside there. The woman who was shot has non life threatening injuries. Police say this was a domestic violence situation. An event at Mercy last night helps people deal with domestic violence who aren't directly involved with it. Community Green Dot Springfield taught people how to intervene before someone is seriously hurt. Janice Gerke is a victim's advocate and part of the Springfield Sexual Assault Task Force. She says people were able to address how to help those victims before someone gets hurt. 
Maybe you can wait until she or he is away from that person and just say, hey, do you need some help? Maybe you're watching. Maybe just the fact that you're watching makes them aware that somebody is paying attention. Maybe making that victim know that they aren't alone. With children, the signs may not be as obvious. Mickey Lane with the Child Advocacy Center says things like emotional abuse and neglects may not leave marks, but there are signs to look for with that. So you're looking at more like the behaviors of the adults that provide supervision or care, um, how they speak to the child, how they, how they treat the child, um, but then also how the child may behave around, you know, around that person. If you're intrigued by this and interested, communitygreen.springfield can be found on its Facebook page for more info on how to help victims of domestic abuse. Some more local news for you today. Congressman Billy Long will be in Springfield to speak with local professionals about the ongoing opioid crisis. Congressman Long will take a tour of Cox South today, and after that, he'll take part in a roundtable discussion that is expected to address the opioid crisis and Congress's work on the issue. That'll get all get going at 9.30 today. Bass Pro Shops is kicking off its nationwide gone fishing movement by donating 55,000 fishing rods and reels to local nonprofits. The nonprofit CAST will receive the donation. The event goes today, and there will be featuring events over the next two weekends for it. Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's have donated 400,000 items in total to youth focused groups throughout the country. The Missouri Job Center will be hosting multiple events today to help those that are searching for one. An event for French's will be at the Job Center's main location today from 9 to 5 for multiple positions. Then Mediacom is also hosting from 10 to 3 for tech support reps. And today from 10.30 to 2.30, ACGI in Marshfield, the Job Center's mobile unit will be there assisting in a hiring event. Here's what's coming up for you on CBS This Morning. Hello to you. I'm Gail King. Coming right up, we're live in Normandy, France on the 75th anniversary of D-Day and Tony Awards host. That's James Corden in Studio 57. That's coming up, CBS This Morning. I want to meet James Corden. <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> we do need to talk about the D-Day, though. That's what's trending right now. It's the 75th anniversary of that, of course. President Trump has been over there in Europe for a while, and French President Emmanuel Macron greeted veterans and others near Omaha Beach earlier. And, it, of course, it was today, 75 years ago, that the U.S. and those allied forces had those attacks there. And, as we said, of the millions that served, only about 500,000 still alive today. So, ongoing coverage of that happening um, for us later on today. So we've got a lot happening right now. We you know do. what I mean? And I've got the popcorn bucket down here. Oh. Gotta go get this. You ready Exciting. to send someone to the movies? Yes. Courtesy of Chris the Critic. Amazing. And Alan Draft House. Let's go right here. You wanna read it? Yeah. Okay. That's part of Thursdays when I fill in. There you go. Thanks. Who's winning? Uh, Sherry Jones. Congratulations. All right. Um, their what favorite movie genre is romance, and yeah. their favorite movie of all time is Titanic. You know, ironically, I've never seen it, but I know how it ends. I heard Jeremy Rabe gasp. <laughs> what Jeremy Rabe's getting ready for Ozark's Fox AM, and I think he's canceling the show. We're just going to show. We're just going we're just gonna show Titanic, Titanic instead, right? I love that movie. Right? What? <laughs> what? What do you mean? What? She's never seen Titanic. I know how it ends. Yeah. Best for now. Oh my goodness. Boat <laughs> sinks. The end. You got some rain today, right? Yeah. Bring your umbrella today. You're, you're going to need it. <laughs> oh boy. I want to make a Titanic joke, but we're out of time. All right. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. See you back here soon.